and I'm talking to you from uh, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, where I just arrived uh, recently after walking through Uzbekistan. Uh, and for those of you who are following along on the storytelling, uh, there'll be still a few more Uzbek stories in the pipeline, so there's a little bit of a time lag. Um, this is Sergei. Sergei is my new walking partner who will be walking with us to uh, China, hopefully, in the spring. And we're going to give you a brief tour today of the Dogoi Market, which is the largest market in Central Asia. People from many countries around come here to buy things in bulk. And what's really cool about this market is that everything is made out of shipping containers, including this restaurant. It's, you know, guys, you know what a shipping container is. It's one of those big metal cubes that, that we put stuff in to ship on ships or put on trains. Everything here is recycled shipping containers. And we're going to just spend a couple minutes um, walking around to you showing you this market, which is kind of like a shipping container city. And if you have any questions, Julia Payne is going to, going to filming. She will call out uh, the questions and uh, probably set a game to answer them. So, let's take a little walk through the market. Might be an audio problem. We're going to probably have to get really close, like one meter away, so you can hear us. Um, Sergey, tell us how big is this market, Dordoi, outside of Bishkek? Well, the Bishkek, you know, for example, the, this market is standing not exactly in the Bishkek. It's standing on the side of the Bishkek, and um, it's huge. It's really huge because all of this territory it's taking about 40 hectares of the ground. Okay, so 40 hectares. And about 40 hectares, but it's growing up every day, so uh -huh. it's really hard to count exactly how big is it. And how many, how many people work here? About 10,000. Okay. But again, it's really hard to count okay. because every day it's becomes more and more. Okay. If you guys so have we any have a question uh -huh. um, from Mika Halbert. What are you doing for the winter? Laying low, still hiking, walking? Yeah, I think we're, I'm probably going to lay low here till the winter passes. You can see it's snowing here. And, you know, it might be, I don't know if you can still hear us, but it might be uh, too cold to get over the mountains to China. So Sergei and I are going to wait for the mountain passes to thaw out. And some you of those said too dangerous. Actually. Too dangerous uh, avalanches. Yep. And just really cold, dangerously cold. Yes. Yes. What, is the, what is the highest pass? How many meters we're going to go over? It will be 4,100 meters, which is about like 13,000 feet, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's really high. So the lowest pass we're going over to get to China is almost as high as the tallest mountain in the United States. In the US. We have a couple more questions. Okay. Right? And people want to know, is winter as cold as an octo? Sorry, I missed the name on that one. And yeah. you've already answered how high the passes are. Yeah, it's it's probably even colder yeah. than Octal because Octal is on the Caspian. And that You're right. Yeah. And the uh, warm wind might come from the Caspian Sea. But here, so let's say for the moment, it's about minus 7 degrees by the Celsius, which is about 20 degrees by the Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So not that cold, but it becomes much colder because Especially usually. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, Sergey, let's, let's walk around um, and Julia will just get in front of us and kind of try to pan around to show you this amazing, again, this, this is kind of postmodern Silk Road architecture, right? This is, a, this is a modern basad, a modern caravanserai, where all the goods arrive in these containers and uh, people use the containers as their shops. So we have an anesthesiologist joining uh -huh. and a couple of people whose first time on Periscope. Oh, welcome guys. Welcome to Central Asia. Welcome to the Silk Road. You wondered what the Silk Road looks like. You've heard about it in uh, history books about camels and caravanserais. This is what the 21st century Silk Road looks like. A bit changing. It's changed um. a little bit, but we're still doing the same things, right? We're trading. We have a hello from Astana. And then um, a question saying, where will you be for Christmas? I think it was. Um, hello, Astana. We'll probably be, I'll probably be in, in Bishkek. So come visit. Not too far away. See door door. Yeah. So 
these are like two-story buildings, and uh, I guess storage said they on the top, and then they would use right. the bottom. Right. <clears throat> use the bottom to actually do business in. <clears throat> Someone so will come here to ski. Okay, yeah, you can you can teach me to ski. I'm going to try to ski through parts of Siberia. <laughs> Start giving me lessons. I could use them. Paul, have you escaped like? Have you escaped the asphalt lately to your liking? Yeah, we finally did. I mean, uh, we're we're said again. I met on the border. You guys remember Aziz and Tolik, my two walking partners in Uzbekistan. We parted ways sadly um, at the uh, Osh border with uh, Kyrgyzstan. And finally got off the asphalt. Sergey and I took a, a nice walk, about 12 kilometers, towards the Tian Shan Mountains, towards China. Stopped the walk there with the GPS, and that's where we're going to start again in the spring. Great. Let's go inside. Yeah. How do locals keep warm, Sergey? That's a good one for you. What petrol source? What's the petrol source and cost? As we go into the market, we can maybe well, answer some. Well, there's a cool question. Okay. So let's say that in the central town, mainly it's like the central heating system, mm -hmm. where unfortunately they're using the coal. But actually, I can tell you that the rest of the population is doing the same. So let's say that the main petrol, main petrol is the coal. So coal, and then probably a little vodka as well. Well, yeah, it helps. <laughs> And, you know, if you, if you need hats, of course, we can show you some heads. <laughs> so let's, let's walk in and we're going to kind of show you how the, the market actually works. They're just literally, they're the, they're the containers that the goods that are shipped around the world uh, are transported in. Mm -hmm. And now they're being used as the act. Sure, it's for, you know, yeah, you can find one. Yeah. What's up? What's up, man? Rosa, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Hello, how? <laughs> 